Hey guys, this video is about the profile submitter tab within 6 submitter. To start with, we'll always load the profile that we want to work with. So, in this example, we'll use the example profile that I've made in a previous video. Simply click on it and hit open. And then you just make sure that you've got all the details in there, so your email's in there, the email account's working correctly, and that you've got proxy set up. In this case we don't have proxy set up so you'd repeat the example in video 2 of how to add proxies and then just hit use proxies yes. Bear in mind that when you're using proxies your success rate will drop in various different platforms i.e. forum submitting so the profile submitter tab, bootmarking etc. The chances are a little bit slimmer that there will be a success rate especially if the proxies are bad which is why it's recommended that you get some private proxies just to ensure that they're safe. Okay, let's move over to the profile submitter tab. The signature is where you, your backlinks will be posted. So ideally you don't really want to fill in this because you're just using up the limit of characters. Most forums will only allow up to 160 characters for the the tag that's including the URL even though it's anchor texted. So generally just leave that. If you want fill in the personal motto um, so for this it, I'll just name it this is an example of how to set up profiles. Now we'll go across to the links tab. This is probably the most important tab. So this box here named title is for single domain so for example if you wanted to add a bookmark for your specific keyword. So in this one, I'll use example. Uh, my URL would be http example.com forward slash example hyphen buy now or something like this. Make sure you have advanced links or no, and then just hit apply profile. For those of you who want to know how to use advanced links, I'll go through it at the end of this video. Basically, advanced links will allow you to set up multiple backlinks within the signature. Go through to custom. Most fields I just leave blank in the custom file. And then this is the important part where you add the various different websites. So I'll just use the example from August that you want to rank on or create that backlink on I usually put thread display on hidden unless there's a problem uh, auto capture should be enabled if you've uh, set up your capture accounts properly and then all we simply do is hit register and check mail usually what I'll do is I'll run through all the accounts and just register them all and then wait two days to three days check in the mail each day to make sure any delayed activation links will be processed and activated otherwise you could find that your success rate on your profile submissions could could drop because that activation link hasn't got to so simply I'll, uh, select less for the example we'll hit these two and we'll hit start and sick will do what it does it'll register the accounts under the different details you set in the account creation tab we'll just wait for it to do this bear in mind these accounts won't actually be active because this is just purely for an example basis so I wouldn't be surprised oh there we go so it's worked successfully and it obviously goes through to mail but the mail option won't be working but as you can see this is how it loads up it loads up and check mail and then it'll literally log into your email address check if there's any emails in there and then just go through and tick them all hit all the links in it but as you can see it said registration successful it said when you last visited it and it's also said the decapture ID so that's cost me two, two decapture codes 
And that's simply how you do it. Okay guys, those who wanted to see the advanced li link section will just pop back through to links. We'll delete what I've put in there and then we'll add the links in here. So for example, you start off with your example, doc uh, example domain. Then we'll put some spin tags in there. So the title one I would use example as a keyword. In title two I'd use buy now as a keyword. Then on a new line I could add another one. Sell now, and then the exact same syntax code, except I'll change the last one to sell now. And the third one, I'll put in um, trade now. And we'll just add the code in here once again, nice and simple. And then what this will do is it'll add three specific links with the different, it'll choose one of the spin tax keywords for each link. And it'll put these three in your signature box. The reason why I stick with three is because some forums will only allow a certain amount of characters in their signature, up to 160 characters. Therefore, it's not wise to fill it with 100 different keyword links. And also it looks a lot less spammy if you were the forum admin looking at it. So usually I'll just place three in there and if I need to set up more, I'd create a new sort of profile tab, a new tab in six, six or meter for that specific keyword. And Always make sure you've got user advanced links set to yes links mode you can either set to use all especially if you're just using three but if you don't take my advice and use more than three make it select random and just change that to three so that way it'll select three random links out of the however many you've put in and that's that then i'll just run through the same process go through to six submitter uh, profile submitter tab open up the site list select the site I want to do and register and check mail and start and just a quick note on the final part of the section well once you get through to the submission stage after you've waited a few days and checked you can uh, hit submit and you can also ping it and keep alive if you like but usually I just hit submit and I, I have other programs that will take care of the pinging and the indexing of the links so you hit submit on the various links that you registered to uh, in this example it probably won't work but I'll just hit run anyway and this will try and submit your signature onto that forum onto your profile and once it does there we go it's failed this time profile page not found because obviously the email link didn't work once it does it'll save the output field in here most of them will save a actual link to your profile unless the forum has it hidden so you have to be a member if they do save the link then just simply right click copy check link from output to keyboard uh, clipboard then you can use that in the future or you can run through the URL manager I personally prefer using just right click to clipboard and then I'll create a little text document with all the various different links in but it's down to personal preference as well which you'll soon find out okay thanks for that uh, the next one will be the RSS submitter tab